Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Last time, I think we got into a war that was a little more than we expected. And I just noticed he called in another ally, and his other ally has got a fair amount of troops too. Maybe that's probably the reason why there are so many guys down there. And I was like, where did all these troops come from? Let's, let's lower the speed a second. It's a little more manageable. The king wants to educate some kid. He wants to educate our son, Vasily. The Emperor wants that to happen. I, I wish the game would take these things in order. I kind of get annoyed when a bunch of things pop up at once. Can't you let me take these one at a time? We're going to accept that just to stay on his good side. Chief Miroslav Posen tells me that High Chief Apek of Perm is preaching his false religion. Wait, he's Muslim? Uh, let's denounce him publicly and give him a reason for arrest. And then we're going to arrest him. Alright, we locked him away. That victory was won the place. So we're going to revoke his title. Oh, how many titles does he have? Holy shit, he's powerful. Let's take away... High Chief... Let's take away his High Chiefdom because he's a filthy Sunni. Our vassals will not object. That was not my wording, but the game's... <laughs> um, I don't think I can re can I revoke his other titles. Oh, I can. Let's keep revoking. Nobody cares because he's Sunni, and the rest of our um. So we're going to revoke all his titles. We should have way more titles than we need now. Let's see, which ones do we have for ourselves? Comey, Yakfla, Perm, Ural. Was that, was that four we took? I think so. So what we're going to do... I'm pretty damn sure, actually, that was. We're just going to give them to friends of ours. Well, maybe not friends, per se. We're going to give them to people. Oh, we won the other war. <laughs> so many good things. All right, we're going to give them to... Let's find people who are... Um, Tengri and Bulgarian. Honestly, I don't care if people have a ton of overlap. Who are you, kid? Does your dad own a territory? He has a strong claim on a territory, but he doesn't own a territory, right? No, wait, yeah, he does own a territory. All right, we'll keep looking. Your dad owns a territory, I'm pretty sure, right, Balin? Yep. What about you, Bernadine? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you look... F no! All right, Bernadine, why don't we give you perm? Continue the history of our family of giving children territory. <laughs> The one nice thing is that means that all these areas here, though they're super weak, like tribal areas, is they're going to be people who like us in charge. Oh, there's a Muslim dude here. We're going to revoke his title too. Can't we? Oh, maybe we can't. Oh, his liege is tangry. His liege might get rid of him. We've got Vatiaka. Who's that? He's He's related to us. And he's not the heir to anything. All right. We will give you Vatiaka. Just a little tribal region. You know, actually, kid, you know what else we're going to give you? We're going to give you the Grand Duchy of Perm. You're going to be in charge of everyone here. It's like, thanks. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, what about you? Okay, nope. What about you? No. You know, fucker, we're going to give something... Oh, the reason I haven't given anything to um, a woman is just because it can leave our area. Oh, Dan? Wow, he's going to be... I wonder if he's related to, like, the Dan. Like, if you go far enough. Well, what the fuck? We're going to give little Dana here something. Can't I? Oh, I guess not. Maybe I can't give stuff to girls with our... um. Religion and culture group. 
Dominique, you already are set to inherit something. Now we're going to run out of people. What about you, Drizslav? Yeah, you're not going to inherit anything. So we will grant you Comey. And that just leaves us with Ural. The great excitement of... Yeah, we'll give it to this guy. The great excitement of... What is this? Bookkeeping stuff? <laughs> Alright there. So we've given all that away. I'm surprised the Vassal Limit's not dropped more. Because they should all under be under the little kid High Chief. There's two kids there. <laughs> oh wait, no, you... Oh man, I was supposed to grant him that with all the titles under it. Actually, we can transfer Vassal Ship, I think. Uh, can I just write Comey in here? This guy, what's this guy named? Drislav of Comey. Sorry, this is a little boring. Just love Chief of Comey. All right. Okay, that should get us down a little bit more. You relate. You are under him. What about the guy in Pearl? Let's see, Chief Frugin. So we will transfer vassalage to you, of Chief Fru. Oh, right there. I wonder if he likes us because we transferred vassalage. All right, so that got our vassalage numbers down a little bit more, and we put all kinds of Tengri Bulgarian guys up in here that should like us. These people should really like us here. I don't know about the rest of Cumland, but whatever. Oh, and now we've won a war over here. Let's end this war. <laughs> King Dongson has usurped the title County of Semba from Notice the Usurper. That's hilarious. We usurped it from a guy whose name is Usurper. We're going to tell our military to go home. I was just looking at our retinues a second. Military go home. Retinues. We're going to move you here by Silesia, I guess. And then we're going to... Oh, man. Or maybe we should attack you. No, I think these guys have allies we don't want to fuck with. Do they? Oh, maybe I don't mind fucking with their allies. Okay, wait, hold up. We might just go attack the place right next door right away. But in the meantime, we're going to give this tribal area to someone because we really don't want to take care of that either. So we'll give it to... Come on. I want to spin a wheel and be like, come on, it's like a game show. <laughs> wheel of territory. So what's this called? Samuland? Samland. It's your name, Sam? It should be. It's Samland. And we should be able to... The duchy title there? I don't know if it's High Chief here or Dutchie. Why can't we usurp it? We could not usurp it for a couple of years for some reason. King Dongerson the Justice fulfilled the ambition to become exalted among men. Because his prestige is so damn high. So we'll pick a new ambition for a man. Oops, not family focus. That's... What else could he want to do? He could be want to be rich, get 500 gold. We will do that. In the meantime, let us declare war on these guys. Can we? Oh, wait. No, he's not independent. Who is his liege? Oh, no. That's a little bit bigger of a war than we want to get involved in right now. Can I move that? Let's move you back. <laughs> This has been the bureaucratic episode. Sorry if I was right up on the mic, too. I was, like, leaning way forward, like, okay, what do we do now? And then now, Upper Silesia. Okay, if we're going to attack there, we're going to want to be in Bull's Slav. Tengri moral authority steadily increasing. We're at 24.5%. Oh, crap. King Doggers and the Justice like, where am I? Who are these people? Ooh, pretty colors. He is infirm and incapable. Oh, crap. That is not a good turn of events. That's a really bad turn of events. I don't think he's going to be able to reform the Tengri faith. He's basically... 
become incapable, and I think dementia set in. Maybe he looked at the ne Necronomicon as a s child. So his regent is his chancellor, who's actually been a really good chancellor. And that's actually helped us too with our vassal limit, but unfortunately, I don't think he's ever going to get to unite the Tengri religion. And there's a strong chance the Eastern Theater here that we just made stronger is um, going to go... The kingdom's going to be split. This part of the kingdom will go to... Uh, who is it? Drislava. And Dominique will probably get this part. Oh, such is life being pagan. Man, that sucks. He's incapable now. He's still got concubines, though. <laughs> it's good to be king. You're like, I might have dementia. I don't understand. Lords of Hum have approved the no tribal tax law? Okay, we're Hum. So you mean just right here they're not going to pay tribal taxes? Under him? Because he only owns one territory. The county. Okay, whatever, man. We should see where the factions are. We can't start any... Oh, I don't think we can because we have a regent. Because the king went... Yeah. I don't know if... I don't think we ever can recover from Incapable. I'm not sure. High Chief Yurza of Yak has usurped the high, title High Chiefdom of Yak from Count Blasher of Inda. Alright, so this guy... He's taken control of the High Chiefdom there. Well, I don't care as long as he likes us, which he doesn't. Can we revoke his title? We can because he's a tribal barbarian. I don't know if I really want to do that, though, because he's got a sizable army. It sucks he doesn't like us. Can we give him enough money to like us? It's not enough to get us where we want to be. Man, I would hate to have to send an army over there to put him down. We do have a justified reason to try and arrest him, but it's almost guaranteed if we do that, he's going to revolt. What do we do? What kind of troops do we have in this region? I do not think we have a lot. Yeah, this guy's got 87 troops. Man, do we just let that play out and let that be one of our son's problems? Mm -mm. We're just going to sit and wait. I mean, if we have to fight a war either way, waiting a little bit's not going to change anything. While we're at it, though... Wait, what's this? Holy Roman War for Lesser Poland. So the Emperor... Interesting. The Emperor is fighting against King Agston the Usurper of Magyar and his allies to try and take this little area. I'm pretty sure the Emperor is going to succeed. In the meantime, Upper Silesia. Oh, we can't declare war with our, our Regent support? Are you kidding me? Crap! The Regent's like, no, nah, you can't declare war. Are you kidding me? Aw, oh, crap. Having a Regency sucks! I guess we just wait till he dies now. We can't declare war. Let's move uh let's move our retinue somewhere a little more in the middle of our kingdom. So basically we're waiting for him to die so our kingdom can get cut in two. Oh poor turn of events. And of course the king of West Francia, the Byzantine Empire. And the papacy are all backing the emperor in his attack on Mayamar here, or Megiar. Wow. Can we declare war on Bulgaria? Will my regent defend? No. My regent's like, no more wars, your majesty. Uh, what a sad, sad fate. Dongerson III, son of Dongerson Jr., the greatly successful. And Dongerson III was just like, he fought his holy war and he won. All trying to unite the Tengri people, the Tengri religion, and he didn't live long enough. I mean, he, he's going to live long enough, maybe, but it's not going to matter because he's incapable now. 
Wow. Well, we're at it. Let's see if the Tengri um, religions spread at all in our lands. Not really. What a disappointment. Let's see. To the righteous Dungri... Oh. The Emperor wanted to arrange a marriage, and then as soon as we answered the message, he's like, I changed my mind. Gotta go. <laughs> Fine. Be a dipshit. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I'm not sure if I should just, like, not record until the end of this guy's time period or what? Well, let's look at his kids. Drislav would be the one to inherit everything over here. Can we actually get on Drislav? He's very good at military stuff, not so much some of the other things. Let's look at his brother who's going to get the eastern part of the kingdom, which would be Dominique. He's a little more well balanced. Uh, one of our yeah, somebody's a brilliant strategist. Great story. All right, there's the emperor attacking here to take part of Poland. Man, that's part of the reason why we haven't declared independence too. Our prisoner is complaining. Oh, I didn't even realize we had prisoners. <laughs> All right, we have two prisoners. Who nobody wants. Can we execute them? No, that will lower all of our vassals' opinions on us. We'll just let them go. And we'll let him go. A lot of vassals really love the king. Look at all those vassals who really love the king. There'll be some who don't. Man, is he popular, though. But the only person who really hates him is his brother and then one of the couple people in the new areas he took over. Man, these rebels, yeah, the rebels are crushing the Emperor's troops. Chief Miroslav Opposens provided me with proof that the Prince too much of Croatia has been viciously slandering me. He's our half-brother. We're not going to arrest our half-brother who loves us. We're just going to ignore it. Let him say the bad things he wants to. What's he going to say? Our guy's incapable. I mean, he's, what's he going to say? Uh, Dongerson doesn't, can't handle the duties of being king. He'd be right. Man, the Emperor's losing a lot of troops right there. Uh, he's got a hell of a lot of reinforcements that are on their way. Yeah, let's get rid of that so you can see what's going on. Oh, and the reinforcements arrived! The rebels are only saved temporarily by the slowness of autosave. <laughs> Ding dong, bang bang. That's the song I sang for them. Man, that music is so low. May your humans rot in your living body. I discovered a plot where I don't care. My guy's incapable. He doesn't even want to understand what's going on anymore. He's just like, I see swirling colors everywhere. There's mental illness in the family, I fear. Those rebels are going to come to our territory? Well, the, the region isn't going to support any more wars. Chancellor has spent too much time kissing up to the Emperor. He's like, no, we can't fight anymore, but that's all we do. That's how we built this kingdom. We built this kingdom on cutting heads and rock and roll. Snap. Well, I guess we'll watch the Emperor's War while he's at it. They drove the rebels out. They're sieging this place. They're most likely going to get this chunk of Poland. Do we own chunks of Poland? We do. Oh, man. I hope he does not form that as a kingdom and gives it to somebody else. Technically, we could create the title Kingdom of Poland. We own enough of it. Uh, some high chiefs in the east. I'm going to quit worrying about the east. I fear that there's no way we're going to be able to form an empire of our own, so this problem here that's forming, that's going to be Dominique's problem. Or Dominic, however you want to pronounce it. But Holy Roman Empire. Oh, 22,000. How many troops do we have? Possible. If we had like half his number, I would say, yeah, let's go for it. 
I don't even know, though. I'm pretty sure the Regent wouldn't let us declare independence. Nope. And we can't start any factions, because the Regent's not going to allow that either. So I guess we're just going to have to speed things up a little bit. Oh, this is going to be terrible. How old is his son? Drizlav is 29. He's still waiting to get married. He has no kids because he's never been married. His girlfriend, well, his girlfriend, his betrothed is 13. Hopefully that's not his girlfriend. <laughs> he's like, yeah. They first got betrothed, I think she was six. He's like, yeah, I go over there and play dolls with her. That's not creepy. Not in the least. Man, a real shame, though, we're going to lose the eastern half. The only plus to that is, and it's more the emperor's plus than ours, is that should remain a part of the Holy Roman Empire. And maybe we'll have an alliance with them because it'll be our brother? That is a possibility. Though he'll be very weak. Either way, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, I guess we continue during the Regency period. Is King Dongerson the Just? Is, um, I wonder how long he's going to survive. His dad lived for a long time. His dad lived to be 66. Hopefully this is not a 10-year regency. <laughs> Either way, I'll see you all next time, and thanks for hanging out.